in verse 6 of Colossians 6, we read that in the last teaching, it says, As ye have never received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. That is the key. Walk in him in the same way you have received him. And in verse 7, it now says, Rooted and built up in him. You see, it's encouraging us, admonishing us to be rooted in Christ. So, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Now, this verse is so rich. God's word is always rich. So, it says, listen, be rooted in Christ. Be established in Christ. Be built up in him. Established in your faith. Now, we need to understand what faith is in the New Testament. Many see faith as the exercise of faith. That is part of faith because but that is not the faith itself. You only have to exercise the faith. So exercising the faith is a different teaching. When talk about the faith of the Lord Jesus or the faith that the believer has, it's talking about belief in the sacrifice of Jesus. I can't emphasize this enough. So the believer's faith is his or her belief and complete trust in the sacrifice of Jesus. And so you need to understand that. And so it says that we should be is he established in the faith. Is he be founded? Your foundation, the foundation of your life, the foundation of your existence should be in your belief in the sacrifice of Jesus. Your belief in the redemptive work of Jesus. You should be established in the faith as ye have been taught. Now, this is very, very crucial. That clause is very crucial. As ye have been taught. Taught by who? Taught by the apostles. And so, the application here is this. If what I'm teaching you right now or at any other time does not agree with what the early apostles taught, as revealed in the New Testament scriptures, then what I'm teaching is not what you have been taught. Because what you have been taught is what the apostles taught. I am an apostolic teacher. And as an apostolic teacher, I am to teach and re-emphasize what the apostles taught. Not to teach my own opinion, or to teach my experience, or to teach anything else. And so if any man, any woman is teaching something that does not agree with what the apostles taught us, I'm talking of the early apostles. If what any man or woman is teaching do not agree or does not agree with what the early apostles taught us, then you throw that teaching away through the window. Just straight away out of your life. Because the only thing that we need to teach or preach, or encourage people with, is what the apostles taught. Not our experiences, not what we have seen in visions, or whatever, no. What the early apostles taught. And what they taught has already been recorded for us in the New Testament scriptures. And so you don't need to go beyond the New Testament scriptures to be looking for what the apostles taught. They are all there in the New Testament scriptures and in the Old Testament scriptures is as delivered to us by the church. And so, you see, we have to be established as we have been taught. And so, don't be established in anything that you have not been taught in scriptures by the early apostles. Don't. Paul, he said, is in no other foundation can be laid except that which has been laid, that, that been laid, which is Christ Jesus. Jesus and his redemption is a foundation on which the church is built. Hallelujah. And he said, Abounding daring with thanksgiving. What a powerful is a statement. Abounding daring. Abounding in what you have been taught with thanksgiving. Let me just give one little illustration. If as a believer, you find that there are symptoms or there's a symptom of an illness in your body, then you have been taught that Jesus himself voluntarily carried your sin, bore your sins in his own body. That is, your sins were is it, absorbed in the body of Christ. 
He bore your sins in his own body. And you have been taught that by his stripes ye were healed. That is the entire body of Christ were healed. And so that means you as an individual, you were healed by the, is the, the stripes of Jesus. That is what you have been taught. But now you find that there is a symptom of an illness in your body. And maybe the doctors have diagnosed you and says, oh, this is a terminal issue. I mean, I address somebody right now, I don't know, on social media or wherever. I, mean, I want to pay attention to this. Now, there's nothing wrong with the diagnosis of the doctors. There's nothing wrong. I, I've seen believers say we don't go to hospitals, we don't, don't believe in doctors. No, 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 we are not, we are not that. There's nothing, wrong, there's nothing wrong with going to do a diagnosis, to do tests and things like that. At times, that could be a lifesaver because you will now know what you are dealing with. And so if you want to deal with it, by your faith in the Lord Jesus, at least you now know what you are dealing with. And so, but look at it. And so that illness, the symptoms are there, and maybe the doctors have said this is a terminal issue. You see, that is what you have been told. But what have you been taught by the apostles? That by the stripes of Jesus, ye are healed. And even though you may still want to go ahead, you see, to seek for medical you see, help, you see, Paul says that the way you deal with that situation is to is he abound in that truth that by the stripes of Jesus you have been already healed. Abound in that truth. How do you abound in that truth? Say you abound with that truth with thanksgiving. And so what that means is that is he, you every day of your life, every moment you feel maybe that pain or is he, you, it comes across your mind that oh this illness is there, these symptoms are there. The Paul says that what you do is to abound in the truth that by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed by thanksgiving. Thanking him. Say, Father, I thank you. By the stripes of Jesus, I am the healed of the Lord. And therefore, this sickness, this ailment have no place in my body. In the name of Jesus. Even if you have to go to the hospital to seek medical help, you keep speaking the same words. Because the only guarantee is in Christ. The only guarantee is in Christ. And so you keep thanking God for your divine health. Thanking him by the stripes of Jesus who are healed. Now that ailment or that pain, that symptom of sickness has no place in your body. You keep giving thanks to God and declaring words by the words you have heard. And so that is how you, is you abound in the truth of Christ with thanksgiving. Giving thanks to God for the accomplishment of Christ in your life in that circumstance of life. And so, the way to deal in life as a believer is to continue in Christ in the same way that you have received him. This is the ABC of the Christian life. 